Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Elisa's Eats and today I'm going to show you how to make a vegan apple cinnamon and almond porridge. It's really simple and it's delicious and this is just going to be for one person. So Falavi and I are going to fight over it. You can always double, triple, quadruple this recipe for however many people you're going to feed but it's mine. Okay, so these are the ingredients you're going to need. One grated apple. Now I'm using a kind of sweet red apple, so I'm using Pink Lady. I'm using one that's about a, the palm size of my hand, or I've measured it and it's about three quarter cups of grated apple. I'm leaving the skin on because this gives it extra fiber and a really nice flavor. Of course, you can peel the apple. And this is optional, just about a pinch of lemon zest. Uh, this just helps bring the porridge to life. You don't have to have it because I know Flavia doesn't like citrus, but I'm putting it in because it's mine. Between one half and one teaspoon of cinnamon for your porridge. Now this is dependent on how you like it. Half a teaspoon is a good base amount and you can add more as you go. I like a full teaspoon of cinnamon because I do. One pinch of salt, 200 milliliters of unsweetened almond milk, now you can make this yourself or you can buy it from any supermarket nowadays, but make sure you get a good brand. Some of the carton ones aren't the nicest. It also gives a really nice nutty flavor. About one third cup of rolled oats or about 30 to 35 grams of oats. And then just for decoration, we're going to have some chopped roasted almonds or you can have slivered almonds or you can have whole almonds, however you want. And then some extra apple just for prettiness. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take our milk and apple and put them in a small saucepan and heat them up. Then we're going to add our oats and stir them together until combined. So we're going to stir this on a medium low heat until it's slightly warm. Then we're going to add our oats. After stirring this for about a minute, we're going to add first of all our half teaspoon of cinnamon and our salt. Oh, already that smells amazing. And now turn it up to a medium high heat and let it come to a slow boil. Once it gets to this kind of a boil, turn it down to a medium low heat and just let it simmer for between three to five minutes until your oats are cooked. Now this has been cooking for about three minutes. You can see it's starting to come together. It needs about two or three more minutes. But I'm going to add the rest of my cinnamon just because I really like cinnamon when it comes to apples. And I find just one teaspoon is so good. It's kind of like an apple pie porridge. It's so good. But please just start off with half a teaspoon because it might be too overpowering if you're not used to it. Now about a minute before you're going to serve, add just a pinch of lemon zest. Now this is completely optional. I really like it. I think it gives it a really nice flavor. And let it cook for another half a minute and then you're ready to serve. Now this recipe is no added sugar, which is an added bonus. So when you come to your apples, if you use a more tart apple like Granny Smith, of course you're going to need to add some sugar. You can add some brown sugar, maple syrup. You could also add honey, but that wouldn't make it vegan anymore. But if you need extra sugar, there's multiple things you can do. Okay guys, that's how you make my vegan apple, cinnamon and almond porridge. I hope you try it. It's really fast, really simple. And this one's actually dedicated to my friend Reese. I don't think he knows I'm filming this for him, but he's vegan and he really loves food. And so I'm just like, I hope he likes this one. So I'm gonna make it for you one day, Reese. I promise. So let's eat. I hope you like it. I find this is nice because it's not overly sweet in the morning, yeah. but I know you like sugary yeah, stuff. Yeah, I so. reckon like, I have such a sweet tooth, I might have to add some sugar. Mm. Like, I, I love it because like if you put a lot of cinnamon in, and if you use sweet apples, mm. it actually, when you cook it down, it releases the juices and makes it really nice and sweet. Yeah, it's definitely sweeter than I thought it was gonna be. Mm. But I would still add more sugar. So this is natural, this is um, all natural sugars in here. Flavia's not gonna be natural, she's gonna be a little bit fake. Um, <laughs> so this technically is for one, but I'll yeah. share it because I love her. Um, but yeah, so really fast, really simple, and delicious and good for your tummy. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Actually very good for your gut health as well. Just saying, that beta glucan from the oats. Oh, mate.
Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. And if you want us to make any other food or recipes from anime, manga, TV shows, movies, games, let us know. Comment in the section below. Message us on social media. Talk to our faces. We're pretty friendly, so if you want to. Um, but yeah, so see you next time. Bye! Bye.